Hey guys! So, if you've ever looked through the built-in applications on your Mac, you've probably seen an application called Boot Camp Assistant. And after looking up what it does, you can apparently install Windows 10 on your Mac. So, yeah, you probably know where this is going. I'm going to be installing Windows 10 with the Boot Camp Assistant on my Mac. And if you want to install Windows 10 on your Mac, then follow along and let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to your browser. I'm obviously using Safari because, well, it's Apple's web browser. Uh, but anyway, you're gonna wanna go to Microsoft's website to get the Windows 10 ISO file because that's how the Bootcamp Assistant installs Windows 10. And don't worry, I will put the link to the Windows 10 ISO file download page in the description so you don't have to go searching it up on your browser. But anyways, uh, to download it, you just gotta go down here to Select Edition you click here uh, that says select edition and you just click Windows 10 and you press confirm uh, and then it will ask you what language you want and obviously I'm going to choose English so you press English and then you press confirm and then after it will say do you want the 64-bit version of Windows or the 32-bit version of Windows so since all modern Macs are 64-bit we're obviously going to download the 64-bit version of Windows but I actually already have the Windows 10 ISO file so I'm actually not going to download it again obviously so we're just going to close Safari and show you how to boot up the Boot Camp Assistant. All right, so now we're gonna be opening the Boot Camp Assistant so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to Launchpad and you're gonna to wanna to go to the other folder right down here and you're gonna to wanna to click Boot Camp Assistant. Now, if the app is not in the other folder, then you just go to the search bar and type in Boot Camp. And the application should appear right here, Boot Camp Assistant. And here is the app right here, again, the Boot Camp Assistant. Uh, so on this page, it just gives you a little introduction of what the app does. It installs Windows, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so now you click Continue and it's removing our old time machine snapshots. And also, uh, just keep in mind that if you have any external hard drives plugged in, just eject them and then unplug them because if you have an external hard drive plugged in and you're trying to install Windows, it will give you this lovely message saying that, hey, you can install Windows. So yeah, I unplugged my external hard drive. So now we are on the install Windows screen. So the first thing it wants you to do is to choose the Windows 10 ISO file you wanna to use to download Windows. So you just click the little up down arrow thing here you click choose and it will open the finder so I have the Windows 10 ISO file in my documents folder so we're just gonna open that and there it is right there and now it asks you how much space you want to use for Windows so since uh, when I tried out bootcamp one time uh, I chose the least amount of storage so since I chose um, 42 gigabytes now it's literally nothing, so we're gonna crank it up to the max, and the max is only 63 gigs. But you know what? I don't care. I'm just showing you guys how to install it. So 63 gigs, that's fine. So now we click install. Oh, and also, guys, yes, it is the next day. So yeah, just ignore that because it got you know it got late yesterday. But yeah, anyways, we are downloading Windows 10. So now we just wait. Uh, for it to download the Windows support software, but we're again, we're downloading Windows 10. So let's just wait. Now it says installation time one minute, so we are almost there. Just a bit more time of waiting. saving the Windows support software, also known again as Windows 10. <sighs> Alright, now it's parching it, I don't even know what it says, but it's doing something to the disk. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Hey guys, it's my Mac screensaver. Okay, the the installation took so long that uh, my Mac went on the screensaver, uh, but now we're good. Yeah. 
support software version 7071 okay and the bar is almost at the end so it looks like we are almost there now it's finalizing the installation oh dock is gone now it's just the big sur wallpaper and a loading symbol and a black screen so now it's restarting all right come on logo guys isn't this the most cursed thing ever guys it it oh blue screen that's how you know it's windows ha! okay anyways <laughs> setup is starting wow guys isn't the most cur is this the most cursed thing ever it's oh okay we're on the screen now so um does my mouse work Okay, thankfully my mouse works. Okay, I thought I had to use my trackpad. But guys, isn't this the most cursed thing ever? It's Windows 10 on a Mac. That's cursed. Anyways, looks like we got kind of like a Windows 7 UI, uh, seeing that the close icon up here has like a reflection on it. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, let's uh, install it. So it looks like the only uh, language is, oh, that's a lot of languages. Anyways, uh, there's no English Canada. So I'll just say English United States, the US keyboard, next. I don't have a product key because I'm like, I'm not, I'm not paying for Windows. Um, now just Windows 10 Home. I don't need Windows 10 Pro or anything like that. Next. Now, Terms and Conditions, click Agree. Next. Of course, I'm not reading through that. It's too much reading. Now it's copying the Windows files. So now we basically just wait until this whole thing has installed. All right, so now it's getting files ready for installation. Okay, let's go. installed the features or whatever those are called um now it's installing the updates boom and now it is just finishing up let's go we are basically almost done uh recording's been going for about 16 minutes oh actually no 17 minutes um so yeah i think the the, the heart the, um, the longest process is just waiting for the boot camp assistant to just like to, like portionate the disc i had again i don't know what the word is but um and oh Windows needs to restart to continue. Okay, well, let's just wait then. Oh, screen went black. Loading symbol. And, hey, the Windows logo again. Hello, Windows logo. You look really cursed since I'm viewing you on a Mac. Uh... Because maybe I'll focus more on the Windows logo. Or not. That made it worse. It's starting the services. It's getting devices ready. Oh, another black screen. Oh, so getting the devices ready. It just went black. Oh, 100%? Yeah, getting ready. Can't wait for the installation. Oh, black screen. 
in a truly black screen. Nice, love that map chime. So glad they brought it back with Big Sur. Wow, wait, let me focus. It's kind of a bit, okay, there. Wow, guys, uh, just the map chime, and then it follows up with a Windows logo. That's very cursed. Oh, the screen's a bit brighter. Uh, I guess we'll still wait. Oh, blue screen. Just a moment. There we go. Just focused a bit more for the lighting. All right, so now we are on the setup screen. Yay! All right, so now we are on the basics. Let's start with the region. So now you guys just gotta select your region. So if you read where I live in my YouTube about page, then I live in Canada. So Canada, yes, just a moment. Uh, yes, US keyboard, yes. Want to add a second? No, I don't. I don't need a second keyboard layout. US is just fine. All right, let's connect you to a network. Um, Rogers six eight four seven three five G is ours. So connect. Now we're just gonna enter uh, my password for our Wi-Fi. Wait. Okay. Thankfully, my keyboard works. Yeah. So you just enter your password for your Wi-Fi, or you also can just skip without a Wi-Fi. But pretty sure everyone has a Wi-Fi. I pretty sure. I mean, if you have a computer, you probably most likely have Wi-Fi. Um, I'm not assuming, but again, yeah. So now we have some important setup to do. Okay, so what is this important stuff? You want us to do Windows? Well, obviously, we'll, we'll give you a minute. All right, just a moment. Now let's see what's new from Windows. Oh, it's probably like going on Microsoft's website and seeing what's new. Like, what are the new features? All right, so now it wants me to uh, sign in my Microsoft account, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, there it is, next. Now we gotta enter my password. Um, please wait, okay. It's probably verifying my account and saying, hmm, is this really Jack? Create a pin, oh, okay, create pin. Um, I'm just assuming what's the password. Okay, so if it wants me to, um, wait, my, oh, my new pin. Okay, so yeah, um, I guess we'll ju I'll just use the same thing that I use for my password on my Apple devices that I've ever had since I was a baby. Uh, clue letter, no, it's good. All right, we just created our pin. Uh, so now it's probably like the password it wants you to, um, use to log into your a PC. So, uh, yes, use, use, just turn on literally every feature. Uh, send diagnostics because why not? Um, I can tolerate with diagnostic data. Yes, yes. Uh, just a moment. Customize your device. Uh, so if you don't know, I mainly downloaded windows to play pc games so gaming yeah uh, i do i did try it out with schoolwork but i mean come on i have mac os for that so just accept just gaming because that's what pcs were made for well they were also made for other things but again yeah use your phone for your pc and i'll do that later remind me later just a moment back up oh yeah this is onedrive so um eh, i mean i guess we can press next to back up my files in OneDrive, which is basically Microsoft's version of iCloud. Uh, nah, it's okay. I don't need Microsoft Office. I mean, I'm not gonna do all that stuff. And besides, I have Apple Pages numbers and Kino for that. Help Cortana, fine, accept. Even though Cortana is basically useless and Siri's a lot better. Hey, hello. Hello, Windows. We're getting everything ready. Okay. Oh. This might take several minutes. And now it says don't turn off your PC. Also, um, I don't know why, but for this screen, um, usually the screen will go really dim and then it will go really bright. I, I, I don't know why, but that just happens. Uh, so yeah, now we'll just uh, wait and we will make sure to not turn off our PC. <laughs> Alright, well, 
New to you, Windows. screen yes um can i dim the brightness please this is a little too bright for my liking all right i'll just use a touch bar all right well touch bar is not working that's great anyways okay well i can't adjust the brightness that's kind of sad anyways um now it's saying welcome to the boot camp installer that looks like a really old version of boot camp but you know i don't care uh build 6.1 okay we uh you will be guided through the steps necessary to install boot camp to get started click next all right so you just click next um accept now again not going to read through that and install so now it's just installing boot camp um and also we do not want to try microsoft edge right now obviously i'm going to try it out later but not right now Bootcamp has been successfully installed on your computer. Click finish to exit the installer. So um, restart system. Okay, finish and it is restarting. All right. So we are going to let um, my my Mac or should I say PC restart and then we can try out uh, some things with Windows. I love that chime. And also, yes, again, um, when you use Windows with Boot Camp, you get a lovely chime, which I think, in my opinion, is awesome. Um, so yeah, let's just continue for it to boot up. And boom, we are on the clock screen. Nice. All right, so does my keyboard work? Yes, it works. Hey, there's my account. Uh, nice, okay, so my pin. Boom! Welcome! Also, guys, you like my profile picture? It's me swimming. <sighs> Man, I swim like a fish. Thank uh, goodness it's almost summer soon. Anyways, uh, your family's using Microsoft. Yeah, 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 got it. Uh, where's my mouse? There it is. Uh, I just got a notification on my watch. Anyways, um, yeah, so this is the Windows desktop. And um, also, another thing is that... Um, so you're probably wondering, great, I'm on Windows, but I forgot to do something in Mac OS, so how do I go back to it? Well, it's really simple. So all you do is, uh, you know the little um, triangle icon down here that shows your hidden icons? When you press that, a black little diamond icon that says Boot Camp will show up, and then when you click that, there will be an option that says Restart in Mac OS, and when you click that, your PC will restart and then boot up in Mac OS so that your PC is finally a Mac again. Uh, but yeah, so let's just test uh, some simple thing out, like uh, going to Microsoft Edge. Um, and no, I'm not going going to install Chrome. Don't hate on me. Save your favorites. Uh, yes, confirm. Yeah. Okay. Can I use it now? Thank you. Uh, okay, so I guess we'll uh, do something that every YouTuber will do. YouTube.com. Uh, but first, I have to sign in, so um, yeah, let, let's just do this. Alright, so now we're signed in to YouTube. So as I was saying, this is something that every YouTuber would do. Let's try to play one of my videos. So, uh, um, at this very moment of the day I'm recording this video, Among Us Part 4 is my newest video, and just like the, just like the thumbnail says, Jordan is literally always sus. She's literally asking to get voted out, so let's just play this, because why not? Also, let's see, will this go up to 4K? Hey, Microsoft Edge is 4K video. Nice. Hey, guys. So, before I start the video, I just want to say that, yes, this video has been put on hold for quite a long right, time nice, now. Alright, nice, it plays. Okay, so, um, yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, we can, I mean, there's also the Microsoft Store. And it's just loading up. We're just basically trying out all the apps that are, uh, that are in the dock. And boom! Here are all of the apps. Uh, I guess we can go to best-selling games. Uh, close. 
be quiet. Okay. Um, oh, Minecraft. Minecraft Bedrock. I know my friend Victor uh, has been really um, wanting me to get uh, Minecraft Bedrock on my PC, but I mean, it is $39, so... Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on it. And besides, I have Minecraft Bedrock on my Xbox. Um, but the thing is, I, I mean, I think you can hook up a mouse and keyboard to it, but um, if I can actually figure out how to do it, I would really want to do it because I don't really want to install, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Minecraft Bedrock on my PC because again, the $39 price. Uh, but yeah, Microsoft Store works. Um, there's mail, but mail's pretty boring. No one really wants to see mail. Nope. And uh, yeah, so that's basically almost everything, but... There is one more thing. So something I experienced when I was using Windows. So for some reason, one time when I was using Windows and I clicked the uh, the hidden icons button, the boot camp icon wasn't there. So at that point, I was basically freaking out. I thought me and my mom had to go to the Apple store, pay them at like 100 or 200 dollars to reinstall the OS. But don't panic if that icon isn't there. Basically, what you have to do is you got to go to the start menu. You got to go. You got to go shut down your. Oh, I um, I don't know what hibernate is. Anyways, um, you gotta shut down your PC and then uh, while booting it back up, you hold the Option key or the Alt key, and then it'll ask you, do you want to boot up from the Macintosh hard drive or the Windows Boot Camp? Obviously, you select Macintosh hard drive, and then you can go back to Mac OS. So yeah. That's the end of the, the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe if you found this helpful. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.